demonstration of the high heat capability of the C-coil flat flexible silicone cables. What we have here is three different flat cables and we're going to apply high heat to them. We're going to see which one can take the heat and what happens to the other cables. First is a PVC flat ribbon cable. Next is the C-coil flat cable with the strip mount in the middle. And the third is a flat uh, Teflon cable. So we're going to put a torch to these cables. And this torch is over, over 1300 degrees and we're going to see which of the cables can take the heat. Here we go. Whoa. C-coil cable, nothing. Whoa, flaming on the Teflon. Oh, C-coil cable, look, you can leave the torch right on it. The most that happens is it turns actually white and that wipes right off. That's silica, almost pure silica. So the PVC cable really flames. Whoa, get it off of that. Let's go back to the Teflon over there. See the Teflon cable very easily starts on fire and starts melting. C-coil cable, nothing. PVC we know burns really well and quickly. Let's go back up here. Teflon cable you can see, cable you can see immediately starts burning and melting. C-coil cable, nothing. PVC cable burns like crazy. Let's go to the bottom here. You can see melting and burning the C-coil cable. Nothing happening to it. PVC very easy on fire and melting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's an example of how the C-coil cable can take the heat. These other two cables can't. So when you need high performance in extreme environments, high heat, and even extreme cold, the C-coil cable will go to minus 65 degrees Celsius. What you need is a C-coil cable.